My name is Austin Coltrane. Welcome to Denmark. I'm currently in Copenhagen and I'm burnt out again. The burnouts from making these videos are honestly something I can't even describe. I feel like I'm incredibly grateful to have this opportunity to travel and continue to make these travel videos, but there's a completely whole different side to it that I don't really show in my videos. Thank you so much. And I don't want this video to come off as I'm complaining about, you know, being able to travel and make these videos. I just want to show like the other side of all of this as well, where how it's stressful for me and it takes a huge toll on me mentally and physically. Like Danish pastry here. Okay. On the top there. Oh. Interesting. Whole lot of poppy seeds. She wasn't Ooh. kidding. It's just bread, but. It's good. So I'm in therapy now, basically trying to figure out how to find a healthy balance while uploading these videos. Because I don't know what's going on, but after every single video, after every single country I go to, I experience this complete fatigue of mental, physical, emotional exhaustion. So I have a therapist trying to figure out how to stop that. The city feels like a much cleaner version of Amsterdam, like almost the legal version of Amsterdam. It's the same similar European vibe with a lot of bikes, just no drugs, no red light district. Not me saying yes to everything on this, knowing damn well I hate 85% of this stuff. Oh. Lots of mustard. Lots of mustard. I was supposed to rent a bike today and ride around. It's absolutely terrifying bike riding in Copenhagen or Amsterdam. It's like a serious thing here and I feel like I'm not, my bike riding skills are not capable of doing it here. But it's more that everything is on top of a piece of bread, so you get the whole experience. Okay, so all this goes on and then I bite it? Yes, okay. or you can use your fork. And I'll try it. the traditional way. What was this called in Danish? Uh, Ribbenstai. Ribbenstai. Okay, yes. alright, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Ooh. Yeah. It's so quiet in here. <laughs> I think everybody has their own source of a dopamine kick where it just kind of gives you purpose your day to day. Where mine is, my dopamine kick is when I upload these videos. And that's what I'm trying to unpack in therapy is why am I so unhappy when this is the one thing I've always wanted to do. But at the same time, I've never felt more stressed, more pressure, more anxious in my entire life. And it leads to a lot of unhappiness off camera. And it's just, getting to the point now where 
I don't know how to balance this. I don't know how to approach it with a healthier perspective. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that everyone has a source of happiness and for me it has always been making these videos. I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity I have and I can't see myself doing anything else. But this opportunity also brings me a lot of low points that are incredibly difficult to process. I'm obsessed with filmmaking and tend to overwork myself to a really low place and there is a lot that happens behind the scenes that comes with this opportunity. This video isn't a tutorial on how to fix a burnout cycle or how I cured my relationship with stress and pressure, but I do know that no one is alone when it comes to our mental struggles. I know talking with a friend or a family member and a professional therapist has helped me in so many ways and it will help you more than you think. I think everybody goes through phases in their lives. For me, it's like every two, three years, I'm always just ready for change. I feel like I'm kind of hitting a wall with, it feels repetitive and I feel creatively funk in a funk. In my videos, I don't know what direction I want to take them. So I'm kind of just like, okay, what's next? It's been two years of this. My analytics aren't where I want them to be. And I feel just creatively in a funk, I guess. And I don't want this to come off as I'm complaining. That's not my intention with this video. I just want it to be transparent and honest, which is a whole other thing because we get judged and commented on everything we do on the internet. I just wanted to show where I'm at mentally, how it's hard for me to enjoy this pursuit of my dreams because of all the stress that comes with it. This is so spooky at night. Also, camera on soggy right now. The lack of hands right now. Okay, so I just walked 25 minutes to see this. This is the mermaid statue. It's literally just a small statue of a mermaid, but it's famous here in Copenhagen. I'll show a picture of it during the daytime, but we got all to ourselves right now. Just me and the mermaid. Ass. Why did I just try to sit on that? It's so wet. So the statue next to me is made out of metal and I feel like he also is going through a burnout. I feel like everyone just has their own internal struggles. No matter what you're doing with life, we're all just experiencing the human experience for the first time. We really don't know what we're doing and we don't know how to control our feelings and emotions and thoughts. And I think if there is any message with this video, it's that we are human beings. We're going to get stressed out, we're going to get burnt out from internal and external factors. There is no recipe to cure anyone's emotions, but it is important to be aware of them and to talk about them. There's the opera house at night. Quayla uh, sauce? What's this? Yeah, what is it? Okay. Can I do the rainbow pancake stick, please? Cheers to burnouts. Ooh, this is fire. Whoa. I just realized this video is going to be coming off as me projecting all my problems onto the city of Copenhagen, so I apologize, Denmark. I'll definitely be back here at some point to make an actual travel video and document the city and the culture and the country itself. But yeah, I'm trying, it's a work in progress to figure out a healthy balance of avoiding burnout at this point, honestly, because it's inevitable for me. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Denmark, I love you. Copenhagen, I love you. I'll see you guys in the next country. Goodbye. Hard to. Okay, my camera's definitely getting wet.